Hello, this is Renee and welcome back. All right, Divine Feminine. Let's talk about your energy. Let's talk about how people outside of your DM view you. Going through the collective and... I've really been feeling lately, and I've really been seeing it myself as well, but I feel like people kind of view you as having a personality that's over the top, right? Someone who's easy to talk to. Like at this moment, there's people who are gravitating to you, and there's people who are seeking your advice, because supernatural of the divine feminines are
Thank you. this journey, but So happy. you know, which path to take. They definitely want to come in your direction. They want to make contact. They're going to try to make contact in any way possible, whether that be big or small. And just keep in mind that, that your DM, the offer that they're going to give initially is going to be a small offer. You're going to have to read between the lines. <laughs> you are going to make you are going to have to kind of decipher code when it comes to the DMs because they're, they're not sure how to go about this. They're totally baffled. They have no idea whatsoever. So whereas your DM is playing it by ear, you know, you're kind of already anticipating what's going to happen next, right? Because the DF... If you've gone through the awakenings, if you've gone through the dark night, you know, you have awakened something within yourself to where you're feeling more intuitive. You're starting, well, not, not that you're starting, you already feel their energy. You can feel when they're close. You can feel when they're upset. You actually can feel their emotions when they have these spontaneous emotional outbursts you may have had sexual spontaneous situations that arise you know we'll just leave it at that but the energy is intense the energy is just out of this world right and i just wanted to touch base with my 
my divine feminine collective because I've, I feel like a lot of you are starting to get bitter that the DM is not making a move or that they're acting a certain way. They're being cold. They're ghosting me. They're, you know, they're not paying any attention to me. They're with somebody else. You know, they've totally left me behind. They act like they don't care. But that's not the case. That's not the case at all. Right? You have to read between the lines because the DMs, they may come across at first as being kind of avoidant. Um, but actually, they're guarding themselves. Their feelings are so intense that they are totally guarding themselves from the pain of being hurt. I mean, you could totally break this person down and leave them at nothing. And I don't think you realize that. Whether your DM is male or female, it doesn't matter. You know, um, whether you know it or not, your DM was on their last heartbreak before they met you. And you could really do them in. Okay? So, for my divine feminines who are starting to feel a little bitter, not having as much patience, you know, that's triggers within yourself that you need to work on that's things within yourself that the divine is telling you that you need to fix before there's any kind of you know reunion union in this connection and so my dfs who still have work to do honey keep working keep working keep going on your path on your journey don't worry about what's going on with the dm you know all of that will take care of itself your dm is going to come back they're gonna you know want to reconcile want to um pursue the connection want to make some kind of contact but they're going to do it in their own time once they build the confidence, once they build, you know, their, their self-esteem, once they go through the things that they need to go through, at the moment, you want them to work on themselves. You know, they're not going to come in perfect. They're going to come in just as they are. But as the divine feminine, you have to be able to accept them for who they are. And not hold a grudge. Not hold judgment. The DMs already feel like they're being judged. Like they're being talked about. They don't know whose advice to take. You know, they've spent so much time people pleasing and taking people's advice. And, you know, trying to make other people happy. They've forgotten how to make themselves happy so your dm is learning all of this now you know so i just wanted to touch base with my my divine feminines and just let you know the energy that i was feeling and um for my divine feminines and I know if you've gone through the awakenings, if you've gone through this journey for a while, that your intuition is starting to kick in. You could be feeling your DM. You could be feeling their energy, feeling that pull. You could even, you know, shed tears or just bust out crying for no good reason. And then wonder, you know, why? Why am I crying? I'm not even upset. You know, and then a few minutes later, you're fine. Those aren't your emotions. They're theirs, you know. So, from my divine feminine, just have patience. Your journey is going to go exactly the way it's supposed to. You're exactly where you need to be at the moment. And your DM is exactly where they need to be at the moment. Give them time, space. Give them the love, the unconditional love that they need so that they can heal. Okay? You, you want to give them their time as well. So, don't crowd them. Don't judge them. You know, just let them 
learn the things that they need to learn and those triggers that you're receiving in the meantime those are things that you need to work on as well so much love to you i just wanted to touch base and i haven't done a divine feminine reading so i've basically been focusing on the divine masculine so yeah if if you enjoy this or if you if this is resonating with you or or helping you in any way um please like and subscribe and let me know and i will start focusing on the divine feminine readings as well and these are channeled messages so you know that this is the energy that i'm receiving the downloads that that i'm getting and make sure to meditate my divine feminine make sure to meditate and focus on your healing much love to you many blessings love and light